throughout time, people across the world told each other tales of how they came to be. Of heroes and monsters, romance and tragedy, death and rebirth. Mythology helped shape the ancient world explaining the unexplainable. This is Mythology Unleashed. In Chinese mythology, there are said to be four auspicious beasts. The Azure Dragon, the Vermilion Bird, Black Tortoise, and the White Tiger. Each creature is closely associated with a cardinal direction and various worldly aspects including a season of the year, an emotion, a virtue, a color, and one of the Chinese elements. But with every light, there must also be a darkness. And in the case of the four auspicious beasts, their antithesis came in the form of the four perils, Han Dun, Tao Chi, Tao Wu, and Chong Chi. The four perils are a group of monsters exiled by the gods, appearing as chimerical abominations and representing the absolute worst of humanity. A number of different sources relate how the Four Perils came into existence. According to Zhuo Zhan, long before the unification of China, tribal rebellions and civil wars were rampant. During the fabled reign of Emperor Yao, there arose four clan leaders who were particularly insolent, Gong Gong, Wan Dao, Gun, and Sun Miao. As a response to their defiance, Yao banished all four barbaric communities. When the rebel leaders died, they continued to haunt the regions as the Four Perils. As for how they became monstrosities that ravaged the land, it is believed that their respective clans would carve these chimerical creatures as a display of reverence. Wan Dao was resurrected into the Han Dun, Gun reincarnated into the Tao Wu, San Miao took the form of the Tao Chi, and Gong Gong became Chong Chi. Records of the Grand Historian offer a second version of the monster's tales of depravity, narrating the unfortunate fate of the Yellow Emperor's legacy, gradually spawning each of the perils. No matter how the perils came to be, they were universally feared throughout China. Though they are often considered as a single entity under the umbrella term Four Perils, they each exist far apart from one another. Whereas the Four Auspicious Beasts work in tandem with each other, the Four Perils work independently from one another, spawning a number of interesting backstories of their own. Han Dun, whose name roughly translates to Chaotic Torrent, is said to be based in the Kunlun region and to be an extension of the mythical Primordial Chaos. There are a number of different versions of Han Dun in Chinese mythology, but the most common version comes from Shen Yi Jing, in which the Han Dun is a monster shaped like a huge ferocious dog that cannot differentiate right from wrong. It had a bear's paws, yet with no claws, and multiple in number, had eyes that could not see, and ears that could not hear. Due to this description, Han Dun was also often depicted as a creature without a face or a head, though was often given two pairs of wings upon its back. The Han Dun had a belly, but lacked any functional organs instead having straight linear t intestines, allowing anything it eats to pass directly through it. Another version of the Han Dun story was recorded in Zhuangzi, where the Han Dun originated from an emperor in central China who had no eyes, nostrils, mouth, or ears. He treated the other emperors of the South Sea and the North Sea with great hospitality at his palace, and intending to repay Hun Dun's hospitality, 
The emperors offered to drill seven holes, two eyes, two nostrils, two ears, and a mouth for Hamdan. They drilled one hole each day, but when all these seven holes were done, Hamdan died, and it reincarnated as the evil and misshapen creature. Since Hamdan cannot differentiate right from wrong, it is said that the creature would instigate conflict when encountering noble people, but would gladly follow the instructions of evil people. A truly hideous monster, Tao Ti is described as having a human-esque face, a sheep's body, with eyes below its armpit, and an infant's voice. According to folklore, when Chai Yu was defeated by the Yellow Emperor in the Tribal War, he was decapitated. His cruel and sudden death led him to accumulate so much dark energy that his head metamorphosed into the Tao Chi, gaining the power and curse of swallowing everything in sight. Tao Chi was said to exist with only one mission in mind, feeding itself. As the embodiment of gluttony, the creature is described as an ill-disciplined eater who is oblivious to the agony of others. In the eyes of Tao Chi, everything is edible, including its own body. It is said that when Tao Chi had eaten everything that it could see, it turned upon itself, and the wretched beast died soon thereafter. Inhabiting the wilderness of western China is the Tao Wu, whose name refers to the ignorance and stupidity of mankind. It is said that the creature bore tiger-like features, dog-like fur, a set of boar's tusks protruding from its mouth, and an extremely long tail, more than 315 meters long. As recorded in Zhou Zhuan, the Tao Wu was once a belligerent son of one of the ancient emperors of China, whose arrogant nature and inability to listen made it so he could never be taught anything or learn from any of his mistakes. After his death, he reincarnated into the Tao Wu. Also according to Zhuo Zhan, the stubbornness of the Tao Wu is his fatal flaw, snarling at criticism bearing teeth at advice, and remaining ignorant of social etiquette. Lastly is the Chongqi, said to roam from Shangxi all the way to Inner Mongolia. Of all the four perils, Chongqi's appearance varies the greatest, with all variations alluding to a truly horrific monster. Stories from the Shangxi area claim that the Chongqi resembles a winged tiger, whereas Mongolian versions claim the creature bears a cow's body with a hedgehog's quills upon its back, sharpened to a needle point. Shen Yi Jing asserts the Chongqi to look like a cow with a dog's head, a long fox's tail, and sharp fangs and claws. Noted for its disloyalty and belligerence, the creature was said to seek out quarrels and disagreements, and to attack the righteous party, often by devouring their noses and mauling them savagely. After brutally ending the dispute, it would then proceed to flatter the antagonists. As a merciless killer of the righteous, and a champion of the hate-filled ignorant, the Chang Chi was associated with an assortment of evil and despicable personality traits. The ancient Chinese were experts at crafting terrifying monsters in their stories, and some of the fiercest of all were representations of the evils of humanity. From the chaotic torrent of Hun Dun and the gluttony of Tao Chi, to the ignorance of Tao Wu, and the belligerence of Chang-Chi. Though their origins and their appearances may differ from tale to tale, 
the wickedness that the four perils exhibited and the fear that they invoked is consistent throughout Chinese mythology.